Dobr den. My name is Douglas Cheney. I'm a professor of special education from the University of Washington in Seattle, Washington. I wanted to talk today in this video a little bit about how teacher attitudes and teacher behavior affect student outcomes. So let me give you a quick example. Let me say that you are in the classroom as a teacher and you have an attitude that all students must learn all the material in one way. And if they can't learn it in that one way, then they must not be achieving up to their ability or they might be misbehaving and they will fall behind and that's their fault. So we would blame the child for not staying with us on the lesson. And if we had that attitude all the time, that would affect our behavior, our behavior of how we teach. We would basically teach one way to all the students in our classroom. Maybe we would just lecture them like I'm talking to you today. I have no other kinds of visuals here at the moment for you. I am not getting up, I'm not walking around. I'm just talking at you today. And maybe you would be doing that to your whole class, which is not unusual for a teacher. And so I would be thinking in my attitudes, well, they should follow along, they're smart, they can do this work and they will take their own notes and I would just do my behavior of talking at them. And I might not think much about that. After any lesson, you should be thinking about how that lesson went. And after you think about it a little bit more, you might actually change some attitudes and behaviors. Let's say as you're telling your students a lesson on the Bulgarian government, and you're telling them about the parliament and about the justice system and so on, and you notice that two of the students in the corner are not listening, they're not behaving, one put his head down, the other was talking to another friend, and they just aren't getting it. They aren't getting the information about the government. And again, you think to yourself, so you look at that information, your behavior was, I gave it to everyone and they didn't get it. And then you think about that some more and maybe your attitude changes. Maybe your attitude would then be, perhaps I could do something different with those two students. And one of the things we often think about and we change our behavior on in US schools is we change the presentation of material and one way is through a graphic organizer. So what I do is I take one sheet of paper, I put the essential elements down of the government, the parliamentary system, the judicial system, and I give them their own notes. I have to prepare that a little bit beforehand, like an outline. So you outline the essential components and you give that to them. So they'll have that information and they will be looking at that information in front of them on the one sheet of paper and they will change their behavior because you've changed your behavior. They'll be looking at the information, learning as you talk, and then at the end of that, you can all think differently about the content of a lesson. So I would encourage you to think through some of your attitudes, your behaviors, and how you think about student learning, and then try to change the presentation to differentiate the instruction with something as simple as giving some notes to the student ahead of time that they can focus on and not misbehave. And in the long run, I think these changes that we do between our attitudes, behavior, and our thinking can learn to better student learning. Thank you.